Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Campanella from the Open Networking Foundation and today I will show you a demo of Phase 1.0 of ODTN, the Open Disaggregated Transport Network project from the Open Networking Foundation. Phase 1.0 of the ODTN project looks at disaggregating the transponders from the open line system in order to achieve rapid innovation of technology in terminal equipment and a better life cycle that does not involve changing the whole span of the optical point-to-point -point connection in order to introduce new technologies, services and innovations. We have integrated many vendors already such as Nokia, Infinera and NEC. The demo I will show is in collaboration between Entity Telecommunications, leader of the ODTN reference design in ONF, Edgecore, who provided the Cassini transponder, IP Infusion for the transponder software, ONF for the ONS controller and TAPI uh, transport API, and the Telecom Infra project for TAI, the transponder obstruction interface used to interact with the optical the, uh, chip. Here you can see the hardware and software stack with ONOS as the SDN controller, OpenConfig as the API between ONOS and the Cassini device, OCNOS as the device system, exposing OpenConfig through NetConf on the northbound and translating those models into TIE calls with the library for the CFP2-ACO line card created in collaboration between NTT and Oclaro. As a switching chip, the Cassini box uses a Broadcom Tomahawk Plus. This demo topology we're using. Two Cassini boxes with line side ports connected back to back and two hosts connected with a 40G interface to the client side of each Cassini box. All controlled by ONOS. That receives a transport API connectivity request and breaks it down into open config logical channel assignments to create a cross connection inside the device between a given client side port and the line side port. Here you can see the physical devices. On top, the two Cassini boxes with blue fiber connecting them back to back and the host cables coming into the client side. Then we have a server which runs ONOS and also simulates the two hosts through network namespaces. On the bottom, there is a small router to provide outside internet connectivity on the management network. On the ONOS UI, you can see the two Cassini devices with their uh, information such as device ID, vendor, manufacturer and software version which is uh, OCNOS. Also the second one has the same exact uh, information except the device ID. You can also see the two hosts uh, connected to the client of the Cassini box. The split view shows the optical layer and the Ethernet layer. In the devices uh, view, we can see the different ports that have been discovered through OpenConfig on each device. We can see both Ethernet client-side ports and also optical uh, line-side uh, ports. Here we can see the two hosts where the ping is uh, between them is not flowing in either direction. So then the view we are now seeing offers uh, a simulated OSS BSS that through a visual interface asks for connectivity between the two client side ports of the two Cassini uh, devices. We select first a port on one device and then we select the other port on the second device. Then we issue a create connectivity request call. This create connectivity will issue a TAPI call to ONOS that will in turn create and send an OpenConfig XML payload to the devices. For the demo, when the cross connect command is issued from the ONOS controller, Ethernet uh, ports and optical ports are dynamically linked via the OCNOS software, which processes the OpenConfig commands and makes the cross connection. As you can see, now the traffic can flow between the two hosts. Going back to our OSS BSS, uh, now we can get see that through a GET connectivity service uh, that is issued by this application to ONOS, we have required the information about the created link connecting it to client port. If we select the same two ports and we issue a delete request, we can see that the ping is not flowing anymore. In this demo we have shown that uh, we have an open source software stack for control and management of disaggregated optical networks. 
that ODTN uses standard and open APIs and models such as open config for the transponders over a netconf session. It leverages the architecture, performance and scalability of ONOS and this disaggregated transport network will go into lab trials with major operators to achieve a feedback loop of requirement and enhancements. This demo also shows the collaboration that ONF initiated with other open source initiatives such as OpenConfig and uh, TIP. The next step for the ODTM project is to have an a complete point-to-point -point connection, all controlled by ONOS, by including between the two transponders an open line system that through an OLS-specific controller will be managed by ONOS through the transport API um, interface on the southbound, while keeping open config for the transponders and the transport API interface from uh, the ONOS northbound too. If you want more info, please visit the ODTN wiki page or ask questions to any of these mentioned emails. Thanks for listening and I hope I'll see you contributing to the ODTN project soon.